It's time to take, check the two scores of the matches not televised this afternoon, Richmond and Essendon, and a very convincing win to the Bombers at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, successful by 81 points. Van der Haar got five goals for Essendon, Terry Danaher four, and for Richmond, Palm got five goals. Fitzroy and Melbourne out at VFL Park this afternoon, and Fitzroy finally showing some form that got them to the finals last year. They won by 34 points. Pekin got three goals for Fitzroy. Templeton and Newport got two each for Melbourne. All right, match tomorrow, Sydney Swans and St Kilda, and you'll see that match straight after World of Sports at five minutes past two. Hope you can join us for that, the Sydney Swans and the Saints. They certainly look evenly matched. Well, there were some stations, of course, out at Princess Park this afternoon, as Scotty Palmer mentioned earlier. Let's go up to Scotty now for his full report. Scotty, the sporting editor of the Sunday Press, once again, good evening. Good evening, Peter, and welcome viewers to the Sunday Press. We're putting together a pretty sensational newspaper for tomorrow. All Hawthorne and Geelong players have been silenced by their club tonight. They can't talk about that riot in the last quarter at Princess Park. There were 13 reports, and Mark Jackson, he's got eight of them. He was booked for striking Ayres, Langford and Mew in that sensational last quarter Barney. Other Geelong players reported are Tui on two charges, Bruns on one and Ablett another. A few cats were pretty hostile on lethal Lee Matthews out there today. Geelong coach Tommy Hapey's only comment when asked whether he'd ever seen anything like it in his days of football was only in the bush. He has Neville Bruns with a fractured jaw, while Matthews himself has a broken nose. I wouldn't dismiss repercussions from this series of incidents today. Football betting throughout Australia has been thrown into confusion over the goal that was taken off Collingwood by the umpires at Victoria Park. The Magpies swear they finished with 9-10 with three players kicking majors in the last quarter, but the umpires said it was only eight for the match. The Magpies are going to protest immediately to the league. Two bad injuries out there today. Neville Shaw of Collingwood has a dislocated breastbone. It's six to eight weeks for him. And North Melbourne's champion Ross Glendinning has a strained knee and it could be a lot worse. The Kangas have their fingers crossed on that. Bobby Rose said the Magpie mistakes let North in for six early goals today. It was disgusting, he said. Footscray's Mick Malthouse was staggered. That was Carlton's lowest score against the Bulldogs. It was also his club's highest winning margin against the Blues. Malthouse praised the work of Neil Cordy on Ken Hunter today and Rick Kennedy on Rhys Jones, as well as Phil Malin, who did well against his old side. Carlton's David Parkin said he rated Footscray up with Hawthorne, Essendon and North Melbourne. And he said, quote, we are just a struggling side at the moment. We've now used 43 players for the season. Parkin, though, still has his eyes on fifth place. So too does Richmond's Paul Sproul after that debacle against Essendon at the MCG. It was the Bombers' first appearance at the Melbourne ground since the grand final, and they loved it, according to coach Kevin Sheedy. However, the Bombers have lost Glenn Hawker. He's got hepatitis and could miss between three and eight weeks. Sproul said Essendon was the best side Richmond had met this season, and they were now the yardstick for the Tigers from now on. Paul Vanderhaar was reported for wasting time out there. Only 14,000 people saw Fitzroy down Melbourne at the VFL Park today. Ron Barassi said, we were disappointed, but we just had to throw the kids to the wolves today. The demons were injury ridden, he said. Robbie Walls isn't thinking about the finals, but he was pleased, however, with Laurie Serafini's return to form at full back. Back to you, Peter. Thank you, Scotty. Full details of those reports in the Sunday Press out tomorrow, and I dare say it promises to be a memorable addition. Don't forget, next football on Channel 7, apart from tomorrow, of course, is the Foster's Cup quarterfinal on Tuesday from VFL Park. Footscray versus Fitzroy, match time on 7, half past 8. Hope you can join us for that. You're watching 7's Big League, the edition for round 12. We'll take a break. Back with more replay in just a moment. It's the showdown of 4th and 5th. Footscray versus Carlton, coming up next on 7's Big League. Do you know how many home appliances National makes? Talk about lots of friends around the house. And I gotta show them all to you in one commercial. All of them? Here goes! Thank you. 
And even that's not all of them. Ah, nobody makes friends around the house like National does. <laughs>